the big question everyone has been asking is, oh my god, is that Nibiru eclipsing the STO in the sun? And no, no it's not. A solar particle radiation storm rising from the new solar storm shockwave. Expect increase in ham radio and GPS issues at high latitudes. This is so romantic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the story of fire and ice. The sun spits out fire, asterisk, which could lead to ice, asterisk, that when the sun freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and then people freak out. It's true. And hey, guess what? The sun is freaking out. The king of the north! Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The Great War is here. Thought we'd take a look at the Thor News root cause of space weather. Because you know when the sun freaks out, space weather freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and the people freak out. So, and if you'll notice the giant coronal hole to the left, and the super fiery active side to the right. As sunspot 2665, there'll be no sunspot shaming here, darling. Think everybody could use a little more loving? I know I could. That's pretty big, I'll put a size comparison thing in so you guys get an idea. How big this baby is. She's big. She's giant. Ginormous. The big proton flash. Charged particles. And the radial velocity. Whoa, Nelly. That's Earth right there. And this is plasma density. We are definitely gonna take a hit. Or two. What does that mean? Definitely. Super duper auroras. Wow, look at how it straightened out. To a seven! Alright. Kick. That's good luck. Seven V. We'll go with that. Cause like a V is to me like the peace sign. She's got a little motion in her ocean. And a bit of wind in her sails. But notice here it's saying like the really fast part is going to be to the left. We're just going to stay on top of the solar party. You may find yourself a little more energy than usual. Or a little less. I don't know. Let me know. Everybody stay cool. Be cool. Alright. Since weather's been kind of weird and wild and wacky. And WTF, I thought, hey man, let's check out the sun, shall we? That's pretty big. I'll put a size comparison thing in. So you guys get an idea how big this baby is. She's big. She's giant. Ginormous. The big proton flash. Charged particles. So when it gets to about right here, it will be Earth facing. Oh, this is what they do. This is what you can do. This is what your future could be. Ah, it really was one crazy summer. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes, and coronally mass ejects. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes, and coronally mass ejects. So yeah, the other day when I said, hey, see this giant sunspot 2665 spinning around towards us? We need to keep our eye on this thing, because when the sun freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and then people freak out. Yep, weather's been freaking out, people have been freaking out, and the sun is freaking out. And you're saying, what do you mean the sun's freaking out? Well, look at it. The sun is just not solar flares and coronal mass ejections. The sun is just not solar flares and their classes. The sun is so much more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have official proof. The sun is on drugs. Nobody spins around unless they're on drugs. Or, you know, unless somebody calls their name. But these are definitely strange days indeed. And where a lot of people believe we're going into a grand solar minimum in a mini ice age. I think the sun has given birth to a lot of babies. And she's a phoenix egg. And she's presently dating other stars who might be courting her. What does all that mean? Oh, I don't know. So it's the weekend. Does this mean doom? Mm, no, probably not, you know. Yeah. Party dance time. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners. And that's why you're here.
to stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have a goodness gracious great balls of fire. Uh oh, there it goes. Wow, yeah, that is active. It's definitely active. And the box is because there's some stuff that NASA doesn't think we can handle knowing. So they put a black box up so we don't have to see it. That's so nice of them. Yeah, the whole sun is freaking out now. It's just not just one sunspot. Why'd you get the X here? There was the X. Yeah, it's gonna get crazier. Gonna get a crazy day for sure. Be ready. Get prepared for it. Boom, chicka boom, ba boom, boom, ba doom, chicka boom, chicka boom, ba boom. Whoa! Alright, the sun is blurry. It is definitely time to get worried. Not only is the sun on drugs, it apparently it's been drinking tequila too. It's doing spins, and it's looking blurry. Yeah, this is definitely maximum interesting solar activity. I will keep you posted. God bless everyone. I like your words. I just like to read between the lines. Okay, I've said it. I've said enough. Party dance time.